They planted flowers because the house had many rooms and because they'd imagined a life in which cut flowers punctuate each room, as if each were a sentence, not just to be decorated, but to be given some discipline, with the most memorable sentences, like people, always slightly resist. Spit of land, rags of cloud rack. Meanwhile, hawk's nest, winter nest, stamina as a form of faith, little cove that a life equals, what they meant, I think, by what they called the soul, twilight taking hold deep in the marshweed, in the pacassandra, where the wind can't reach. Then the war. Then the field and the mounted police parading their proud-looking horses across it. Then the next morning's fog, the groundsman barely visible inside it, shadow-like, shade-like, grooming the field back to immaculateness. Then the curtains billowing out from the lightless room toward the sea. Then the one without hair stroked the one who had some. They closed their eyes. If gently, hard to say how gently. Then the war was nothing that still bewildered them, if it ever had.